Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you didn't guess already, uh, it's going to be a bit of a glove box uh, hack that I've seen online um, that I'm hoping is going to sort out the problem I've been having in my glove box falling out. Common fault within the courses and it's more than likely you've all experienced it at some point because they just put them with a little crappy plastic, like two little crappy plastic clips. So um, hopefully this works and if it doesn't then I've messed it up and you guys don't have to yourselves. But yeah, so hopefully by the end of this video, uh, my glove box won't be falling out, fingers crossed. So yeah, let's just go out and get straight into the video. There's the beauty. Oh, well that's embarrassing. Excuse all the dust and stuff that's in it, but as of the moment, it's actually holding it for once. Surprisingly, it's holding. But yeah, these these clips, you can see exactly where I mean. They're absolutely awful. Um, they snapped right in the middle on both sides, and then it doesn't hold anything at all. Uh, it just drops down. See in there, it's cracked. So uh, the plan for this is to. Um, well, I'll show you guys in a second, but you can use a drill bit, but I'm going to use a solder, a soldering iron, just to melt through um, a little hole in these clips on either side, um, and that's where a cable tie is going to go through. But yeah, I will take this inside and I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so I've got my solder, just waiting for it to heat up now, and all you want to do is just put a reasonable size hole just through here, uh, just let the heat melt it and then just push it through. Uh, you can use a drill bit for this, but I can't actually find the battery for my drill right now. So, uh, this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, I should be completely fine, but yeah. So I'm going to do that on both clips. Once it's heated up enough, just put a small hole in either side, and then we'll go from there. So there you go guys, uh, just small enough hole to get the cable ties through on both sides. That's all you need, really. And it doesn't really matter about the look of it because you're not going to see it anyway. So as you can see guys, this is what I've done. So I've made the holes and I've threaded a cable tie through either side. So that's how we're looking at the moment. So you see these poles here, these little plastic poles. Again, there's one on either side for the clips. If you don't know already, it's quite self-explanatory, but the clips just slot onto that. So what you're going to want to do is, when they're slotted onto that, uh, wrap around the cable tie and uh, just tighten it up so that whilst the pole's in there, the cable tie will wrap around this like that and close it up, uh, holding it tight enough that it, chances are, should never come undone again. Um, but it'll feel the exact same to open and close as it did before because it's uh, still using the clips and not the cable ties. The cable ties are just holding the clips in place to stop them from snapping again. Poor design really from Vauxhall, but it's easy enough to fix. Hopefully you guys can see that clear enough um, because it isn't very easy to see or record, I should say. So we've partially put one side on, just going to do the other. Easiest thing to do is, before you, before you do anything, like put the clips in, just wrap the cable tie around the little bar. I'll show you in a second once I've just done this one.
like so. Wrap the cable tie around the bar and then you slot it in place, uh, obviously putting the bar inside and then you can come underneath and just pull the things. You could potentially take this whole entire unit off and do it off of the car, uh, but because I've done the LED strips, I've stuck them to the bottom of this. I could fanny around and plug in it all, but I'm not gonna bother. So just push it in, like so, make sure it's all fitted in properly. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need both hands, so I'm just gonna do that off camera and then I'll get back with you once it's slotted in. Okay, so I have just uh, pulled through this side, just hold it in. And then, just like I was telling you, you've got this uh, just wrapped around the pole. So just tighten that right up. Make sure it all comes through so that that um, clip doesn't can't come undone again. It can be a bit stiff, but that's probably partly because I made the hole a bit small with the solder in, but it doesn't matter. Make it as tight as possible. And then there you have it, you've got that one and that one. So once they're as tight as possible, you're not going to see under there anyway, you just snip them right on the end of the cable tie. Again, I'll do that off camera, you don't need to see that. Um, but yeah, that's how we do it. I also have some under there, I need to lift that wire up again from the LED kit because that's dropped down a little bit. That is now nice and sturdy. There's not a chance of those clips coming undone. And if they do, it's a cable tie. It costs about 2p each. So, I mean, I could eat my dinner off of that. That's how strong it is. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend. I mean, even if you don't have the clip snapped yet, I would recommend doing this because every single Corsa has this problem. It's just a common fault. All it is is just cheap plastic clips that they've put in a box all just cheaped out. But yeah, cable tie in there and just snip it underneath and so much stronger. It just comes down just as smoothly as it did before. No issues at all. And it's nice and secure as well. I was a bit skeptical at first, but that, if I zoom in, is all you can see. You don't really see the cable tie at all. It's just in this one, if you can't see it. Um, but yeah, that is all it is, just in the corners, and it's nice and secure, so... Definitely recommend that if you're having that problem, or even if you're not. So again, it's not a modification, it's just a bit of maintenance to stop it from falling out because it was doing my head in. Um, but it is helpful, and it does come in handy. So let me know if that was helpful for any of you guys uh, in the comments below. Um, and all, as always, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe, uh, it always helps the channel. Um, nearly at 300 subscribers now, which is massive. So thank you guys for the support and um, but yeah I'm really happy with that now just a little things into it But I was it's fallen out on me about four times this week, and it's so damn stupid And I found that on uh, online and it wasn't a clear video I thought oh, maybe it's just one of these stupid hacks that isn't gonna work very well quite clearly It did work pretty well, and I'm pretty impressed with it, with it. Um, So yeah life hacks don't always fail but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video, uh, where hopefully we'll be doing something a little bit more interesting than a couple cable ties on a glove box.